What's this? A quill. It's really pretty. How strange. It's warm, but it's cold at the same time. That is strange. Arya, can you hear me? Oh. A dream. I fell asleep. You too? Yeah, I just woke up. I think we fell asleep because of this room. We should get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know why, too. Silly little room. What's going on over here? Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to save there, but oh well. I'll just hope this recording doesn't go to shit. Lewin, look at that. This view is beautiful. She's distracted. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. It's time to end this. But why am I shaking? I can't hesitate now, I have to do it. Ah, <sighs> but she's so cute. Lewin? Uh. Can I tell you something? Huh? Do you remember what you told me before? When you told me you were a writer? I think we're a lot like each other. What do you mean? Pay attention, I'm going to tell you a story. Years ago, there was a little girl who loved reading, but no one her age shared her hobby. Other kids thought it was something boring, and they laughed at her for having such a strange hobby. The girl respected and understood that they didn't share her love for books. But she couldn't help feeling sad. Her parents, who wanted to keep her happiness from disappearing, took her to a library for the first time. Her eyes lit up, and when she saw so many books and so many other people of her ages who shared her hobby. Ever since she visited the library every day, uh, yeah, she visited the library every day, and she grew up surrounded by books and happiness. Why are you telling me this? You told me your past before, and I thought it would be fair if I told you mine. <laughs> Let's be friends. Huh? Friends. It doesn't matter if no one wants to read your books. I'll read them, and I'll tell you what I think. I'm sure that if you don't give up, you'll be a famous writer. Stop, please. You're making this hard. <laughs> you're making everything more complicated. Stop worrying about me. I don't want you to get involved in my affairs. What? He left me. Okay, so now we have control. I'm gonna be careful, because last time I was in a room like this, it crashed. Are you mad at me? No, it's my fault. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's okay, don't worry. Wow, okay. And now we can go this way. I like I like how these games use like the piano music. It almost sounds like I'm watching Inuyasha again. Nice chair. At last, the protagonist and the narrator meet again. She had a determined look on her face, even if she did feel exhausted. You only narrate what I do? Yes, and I only need to narrate what you do. Lewin is not important. But do not fret, Lewin. If you want, I can also narrate what you do. That's not necessary. Mm. That reminds me. 
Are you sure you want to stay at his side? Why do you say that? If you're the protagonist and I'm the narrator, <laughs> Lewin could be the antagonist. What? That can't be true. It could be dangerous to stay by his side. Lewin saved me so many times. I think he's a good person. And I also think you're a good person, narrator. Huh? Me a good person. You must feel so alone in this place. What do you think if we go back to our world together? There is something you still do not understand. I am not a human. I'm a narrator. My duty is to narrate what you do, that is all. I do not feel any sympathy towards you. You are like a puppet to me. Oh. I am telling you that I am the narrator. I am not a boring human. You should calm down. You have no care for any human's life that if they fulfilled their purpose for me. When they have entertained me enough, once they die, I will shed no tears for them. Do you understand now? That is what being a narrator is. I am not a good person. And above all, I'm not a boring human. You said you were. What is happening to me? My head. It hurts. I think I should leave. Yeah, get on, get. What the hell was that about? Narrator? Boring human. I think I'm starting to understand. Yeah, you do. I can't sit in this chair. Hmm. Can't sit in that chair like you do in Resident Evil 4. Ooh. Chapter 4. Horror. I mean, this whole game has been, like, a big horror game. Now, what is this, Heavenly Host? What's going on? I see a bunny. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't remember that. Alright, let's, let's dodge these... Oh, God. This makes me nervous. What the hell was that about? They put all these save points here. Okay. Floating ghost book. Why is it transparent? Because I am a ghost. A spooky ghost. His books die, die when they're forgotten. No one read me and I became a spirit. You can live again if I read you though, right? Your pages are transparent. I can't read them well. It is too late. You cannot do anything to me. Read a lot to keep other books from ending up like me. Can you promise that? I promise. Yes. So you are not the one throwing knives at me. Wait, what? Oh. That's not good. Holy shit. <laughs> that actually got me. What the f- Oh. Yeah, this is- this is like a horror game. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a snake. It's a sneaky, sneaky snake. Now, what is going on in here? Doors locked. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a door here. Hello, little rabbit. Oh, I think I remember this. Oh. 
Oh. Uh, the longer you take, the more I feel like I'm going to forget. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was all the way across. Thanks, bunny friend. The bright sun to the north, the deep sea to the south, the lush forest to the east, and the pink carnations to the west. Okay. So many spider webs. Talking to the spiders again. Oh, okay. I'm sure this is safe. I like to think that, like, more knives will come at me at some point. No, Mr. Bunny. What the fu- Okay. <laughs> I know I saw something. Um, now we'll go this way. Oh, um... The sun- Oh, do I- Oh, fuck. I hate- Oh my god, these puzzles. I hate doing that. Alright, I think I know the order. This reminds me a lot of Pocket Mirror. It's like one of the first puzzles in that game. There we go. Cemetery key. Oh no, the snake. Snake just decided to leave, I think. Like that's some shit. Where did it go? Maybe it went into the locked door. Does that make sense? Welcome to the cemetery. These are the graves of the books that have been forgotten. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> you were an incredible book. Man. One day we'll find out if ghosts are legitimately a thing. I think they are, but I also think that they're... There's so many rules to them, so many unwritten rules, and I feel like new rules are created every day. Holy shit. Labyrinth. A movie I have not seen. Okay. Well, wow. Sneaky, sneaky snake. Yep. I... I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Okay, so far nothing's killed me yet. Wait, is this a door? No. If I go this way... Holy shit. The noises, man, in this game. Oh, shit. Well, no turning back now. Did I do it? What the... What's this trap me? Oh god, what is that creaking? I don't like it. Alright, I found a door. And a save point. That's good, right? Hello? Oh shit. And the music just goes away? Good times, good times. Alright, you son of a bitch. It, it's funny how they put so many save points in here. Or they, they're, they're not even, like, they're not... Uh, 
What just happened? I didn't like that. Hello, skeleton. Don't touch that. Okay. Ooh. Puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Math books are the scariest thing. Oh. Never mind, I thought we were going to read a book. Um, let's... Oh, hello. This game is crazy. What do you got to say for yourself? Being a spirit has some advantages. For example, I can pass through walls. Do you want to see how I do it? Yes. Isn't this supposed to give me a hint? I do remember this, but I don't know why... I'm supposed to know that that exists. But other than that... We're gonna go around and see what else is around. Or maybe that's it. Yeah, that appears to be it. And uh, interesting. Hmm. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I'm supposed to count those butterflies. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, it was 11. And I've obtained butterfly wings. Can I put them on? Probably not. Now what do I do with these butterfly wings? Hmm. Maybe I'll go through this door and find... Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. There were actually some legitimate ghosts in there. Okay, so I have butterfly wings. What do I do with them? Actually, what's down here? Because I actually didn't go down here yet. Big lab. Hello? Oh! Just so happens I happen to have some butterfly wings. Take it. I'm gonna finish the potion. Thank you for helping me. This is for you. The visibility potion. All right, fair enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, please don't kill me, sir. And I guess I take this now. Now I'm invisible. <laughs> How long are you invisible? Forever. Hopefully not. Oh, shit. There's no timer. made it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Imagine there'd be like a clock. Oh, hello, Miss Narrator. Surrounded by darkness, she advances bravely with her companion. Narrator. Wait, don't go. In my head. Are you okay? Do you need help? I do not understand what is happening to me. I have been feeling strange for a while. I feel like I'm forgetting something very important, but when I try to remember it, my head hurts. Huh? Something important. Yes, the pain is more intense when I look at Arya. What am I doing? I'm a narrator. I should not be telling you about my problems. Why not? I'd like to know more about you. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> because I think you're very interesting. Shut up. You do not know... You do not know anything about me. Well, that's why I want to know you better. 
I am a narrator. My duty is to narrate what happens to you, and that is all. If you have any problems, I'd like to help you. If you only knew how I really am, you would not say the same. That doesn't matter to me. Friends are there to help each other. Friends? Do you really consider me a f your friend? I do not understand it. Lewin doesn't talk much, but I'm sure he has the same idea. Yeah, it's true. Does this still hurt? No, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Nice lie. Huh? Arya, I do not understand. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Arya, there will be someone waiting for you at the end of this area. Hurry up. Huh? Who? My true self. Now I must leave. I feel confused and I would like to be alone for a while. Thank you for keeping my secret all this time. Huh?